Every man driver nation, did you get a glimpse of it? Three words. Here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. Deep Ocean Pearl. That, my friends, is a 2017 Honda HRV. Just arrived. All right, everyone, Dave Erickson here, and with me is the EXL with navigation trim level on this HRV just arrived today. So let's go ahead and give you a first look overview, not a detailed review, but an overview. Since I just got it, I need a full week with it to give it a good once over. And uh, in the meantime, let's tell you what I know about it. First of all, under the hood, a 1.8 liter four cylinder. Now this is either made into a CVT or a six speed manual transmission. Front wheel and all wheel drive, we have the CVT and all wheel drive come standard are 17 inch alloy wheels. Now I'm debating whether or not I should take, is that gum? Are you serious? Ugh, gross. I'm debating whether or not I should take this for some light duty off-roading. I've done it before. I, in fact, I did it with the 16 HRV, and I can't remember what happened, but I know a lot of you love my off-road videos, so we'll see. Not quite sure. When I got it, 78 miles on the odometer, so probably about 378 now because it just came over from Seattle. Uh, horsepower, not a lot, 141, 127 pound-feet of torque. Let's go ahead and go inside and uh, Get a little refresher on what this looks like. So it's locked now. There's the beep. Beep. All right. So key fob in the pocket. Just put your hand in the handle. Opens up. All right. <sighs> yes, that new car smell. All right. Nice little cockpit here. Of course, smaller crossover SUV. So, you know, you're not going to get the CRV or the Honda Pilot experience, but now they have a new audience. Let's go ahead and start it up. Push button start is standard on this vehicle. Let's see if I can move it over. Oh, here it is. Look at that. Zoom in, Dave. Zoom in. 346 miles. Beautiful. Okay, so we're looking at a touch screen here. Uh, is there anything special on it? Let's see, I, I don't know, navigation, phone, audio. Let's see, audio, Let's see if there's anything. Do I have, do I have Sirius satellite? That's what I'm looking for. Oh, nothing, wait a minute. Here we go, here we go, XM. Come on, yes. Good, now I can listen to my favorites. All right, with the CVT, nothing too crazy right here. Parking brake hold. Pair of cup holders there. Let's see where if I have a USB port in here somewhere. Usually there is. Ah, I can see it right now. All right, gentlemen and ladies, bear with me. It's right here underneath the center console. You put your hand on both sides. So there's your USB there, HDMI, and another USB. What have we got down here? I can't quite get this angle. So a couple of USB ports for charging your smart devices, which I find mandatory. I don't remember this being a long vent, so that might be new. Does anybody remember that? If you do, put it in the comment section. Steering wheel mounted controls. Oh, we got paddle shifters here on a CVT. So we've got Bluetooth technology here on the left-hand side, cruise control here on the right-hand side. This option changes, oh, changes there in the center. This should change something up here, doesn't it? No, it's not. It's changing right there. Oh, okay. It's been a while since I had this car, almost a year. All right. Source again. Okay. Eco mode on the left hand side. Instrument cluster, straightforward, three main dials. You've seen all that there. Sunroof, that's good for the front passenger, not so much the back passengers, but. Oh well, I think you have that in the Honda Pilot, which we will be getting the 2017 Honda Pilot very soon. All right, well, with that, let me see. Comfort-wise, 
this is almost in my position. Oh, we got the, uh, the pump system for the adjustable seats, nothing electronic, it's all, you know, handles. Speaking of handles, we got four blank handles. Go ahead and turn this off. Let's go check out the, this is my, yeah, this is my driving position, the back seat, leg room, and headroom. And the door handle for the back seat up here on the side. Oh, it's, I'm not, I'm not gonna edit this. I'm not gonna edit that out is what I meant to say. All right, here we go. I'm 5'11". All right, move these up first, okay. I'm 5'11". And there is my leg room behind the driver's seat. So I'm okay sitting behind myself if I were to clone myself. Headroom, can you see an indent? Is it indent a little bit? Yeah, indents a little bit. That's good. Kind of a cold feeling here. I know it's 55 degrees outside, but it kind of feels cold. Goes up, goes up. Do we have a fold down armrest? We do not. We got a 60-40 split back seat. There's one of our O-blank handles. And here's something interesting. We've got a compartment back behind the passenger seat, but not behind the driver's seat. Just an observation. All right, let's take a look at the uh, cargo volume. Now, let's see, do I have something on the key fob? I do. Okay, key fob option. Let's go here. Hold it down. Lights are flashing. What's going on? Unlocked, hold it. Hmm. So it doesn't open automatically. Ooh, that's a, that's a lot of room right there. Room for the everyman driver. Now, normally I'd say my neighbors would be concerned, but uh, they know what I do. So seeing me with a selfie stick <laughs> sitting in the back of the cargo area of a new car, not a big surprise, uh, but plenty of room. And these seats, go down here and go down there. So now I've got extra storage for a couple of everyman drivers. All right, handle. There we go, my friends. So again, this is a $20,000 vehicle. I'll give it a, a decent review over the next week, figure out some miles per gallon. They say with the front wheel drive, this can get on the highway 31 all-wheel drive 29 on the highway so those are pretty good numbers we'll see what i can do you saw what i what they is in the odometer right now and then about 350 miles so hopefully i'll put it yeah i'll put uh, a good 200 miles on it and see how it goes all right everyone that's what's going on if you have any comments do it right away let me know what you want as in the form of a review and i'll do my best to accommodate that in my review coming up in a week that's it for now thanks for watching adios Damn. Uh. Yeah.